Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March 7th of 2023. Well, it is titled Deep Field, the Large Magellanic Cloud. So what do we see here? Well, here we see what is the largest satellite galaxy of our Milky Way and one of among dozens of galaxies that orbit around our Milky Way. So galaxies do not exist alone. They tend to exist in groups uh, with larger galaxies, often surrounded by a number of much smaller galaxies. Now the Large Magellanic Cloud is again the largest of the satellite galaxies of our Milky Way. And it's an example of an irregular galaxy, meaning that it doesn't have a very distinct appearance. However, when you take very deep exposures, it also appears that the uh, Large Magellanic Cloud has resemblance to a barred spiral galaxy, although on a much smaller scale than we're used to seeing with others. But bars do exist within other types of galaxies, as we see here with an irregular galaxy now. So the fact that we see barred spiral galaxies, which are actually a very common type of galaxy, including our own Milky Way, uh, but still understanding why bars form in some galaxies and not in others is something we don't really understand to why that uh, why some of the galaxies end up with a bar and others do not. Now, otherwise, as an irregular galaxy, it does also bear a resemblance to a spiral galaxy in that it shows signs of star formation. So it is appearing to have a very bluish color, a lot of blue uh, star clusters and star star forming regions where stars are currently forming. And that is a common within a spiral galaxy as it is also common within the irregular galaxies such as the large Magellanic cloud. Now when stars form stars also die and the large Magellanic cloud is also famous for being the home of supernova 1987a which is the closest supernova to have occurred occurred that was visible here on Earth since the advent of the telescope in the early 1600s. So many supernovae have been seen and in fact a number of them have been tracked over the centuries and seen in the sky. But this was the only one we have where we could actually see the original star from images taken before where the star was close enough that we could actually see and study the types of star and give us a better idea and hopefully a better understanding of the process of the supernova explosion. So here we get to see the large Magellanic cloud uh, in this image a very deep exposure showing that it does have a central bar and maybe some ideas of spiral structure. So that was our picture of the day for March 7th of 2023. It was titled Deep Field, the Large Magellanic Cloud. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.